The Russian Soyuz launch vehicle has a long pedigree. It is a direct descendant of the R-7 system that launched Sputnik, the first artificial satellite, and Vostok 1, that carried Yuri Gagarin, the first man to orbit the Earth. There have been more than 1,700 launches carried out using the system, and it remains the most successful and reliable rocket ever developed. The key to its success is its simplicity. All assembly work is carried out with the stages lying horizontally. This cuts down on the size of building needed for the final integration of components. The horizontal configuration also makes transport to the launch pad simpler, with the Soyuz launcher carried on a rail car pushed by a locomotive. Four first stage boosters cluster around the core second stage and all boosters are identical. Transport to the pad happens two days before the launch is scheduled. At the pad, the rocket is finally lifted into its vertical launch position. Once vertical, the Soyuz is surrounded by service gantries used to prepare the rocket. After a thorough system check, batteries are installed in the booster and it's prepared for receiving its fuel load. Five hours before launch is due, all stages are loaded with kerosene and liquid oxygen. The Soyuz system regularly launches commercial satellites, Progress automated cargo craft for resupply of the International Space Station, as well as the Soyuz manned space capsules. With the retirement of the US Space Shuttle, this will be the only way for people to travel to the ISS.